Welcome to another Keyshot 9 feature tutorial. In this video, we'll talk about using Keyshot 9's new fuzz feature to add fuzz geometry to any material. For this demo, we'll be working with a Bluetooth speaker I designed specifically for this tutorial. With this model, we'll explore the different fuzz settings and appearance settings to better understand how these parameters can be used to create application-specific effects. From lawn grass to towel fibers, the new fuzz feature allows you to add and customize surface fibers on any applied base material. To get started, choose a surface that you wish to add fuzz to and apply your desired base material to that surface. Then open that material in the material graph to add fuzz geometry. With the material graph window open, you should see the root material node as well as the surface material node displayed in the work area. To add fuzz, right-click on the Material Graph work area to trigger a secondary drop-down list. Here, you'll find the fuzz option at the bottom of the geometry drop-down. Once selected, attach the new geometry node to the geometry input on your root material node and execute geometry. This will allow you to preview how the default settings will affect your object surface. Now that fuzz has been applied to the object surface, we can further customize surface geometry to our desired needs. By double-clicking the geometry node, we can see a variety of options appear on the right side of the material graph. Under the Properties sub-tab, you'll notice that several aspects of the fibers can be adjusted. If you've had previous experience with real cloth flyaways, then many of these settings will be very familiar to you. If you have not, they are easy and intuitive to work with. Let's take a brief look at what each of these settings does to our fibers. Starting from the top, we have length, length variation, and randomness. These three options will help increase the realism and organic appearance of fibers. Length determines the maximum length that the longest fiber will protrude from the material surface, while length variation will determine how varied the fiber lengths will be. Randomness will further vary your fibers by randomizing the direction each fiber protrudes from the material. The next three options below are Radius, Density, and Segments. Radius will determine the thickness of each fiber while density controls the amount of fibers per millimeter of surface area. If you adjust the segment slider, you will affect the number of direction shifts that occur per fiber, helping to further randomize your applied surface fuzz. Under this sub-tab, you can also adjust whether the fibers will appear as ribbons or cylinders. This can be very helpful when looking to increase or decrease sheen of surface fibers without adjusting specularity or roughness. When adjusting these settings, keep in mind that you'll need to execute geometry nodes after each adjustment in order to see an updated and accurate representation of your latest settings. To execute geometry, you can either select the Execute Geometry button under the Appearance Accordion, use the Geometry Update button on the top right of the real-time view, or use the shortcut Alt-G to execute your geometry nodes. Currently, my speaker housing appears to be a hard, matte surface with a high-sheen vinyl label applied to the front. However, my goal is to make it appear as though it is a wool material with the label sharing the same properties. To do this, I'll go ahead and connect my fuzz geometry node and make any necessary adjustments. I'll then execute geometry nodes to determine if my adjustments have successfully aligned with my vision for the material. After executing geometry nodes, I can let my image res up to get a more accurate preview of my current settings, which in this case appear to have accomplished the intended goal. At this point, if the specularity and color of your fuzz geometry needs to be further adjusted, select the Appearance Accordion on the right side of the material graph. From here, you'll be able to make adjustments to the overall color, the specularity color, the roughness, and refractivity of your fuzz geometry. If, instead of adjusting specularity and color, you would like to adjust the material that your fuzz is made of, you have two options. You can either link the output of your base material to the surface input of your fuzz geometry so that both surface fuzz and base material share the same properties, or 
you can add an entirely different material and then connect the new material to the surface input, which will allow you to create unique effects such as hairs or emissive fibers. After all of your adjustments have been made, be sure to execute geometry nodes and let your image res up to get an accurate preview of your final image. Thanks for watching this Keyshot 9 feature tutorial. Let us know your thoughts on this tutorial in the comments section below, and if you found this video useful, give it a like and share with your friends.